with Leeds United's search for a new manager after Neil Warnock left the club last night. A 2-1 home defeat to Derby was the final straw for United's owners GFH Capital, who've placed Neil Redfern in temporary charge until Warnock's successor is found. Well, today the United's first team fulfilled a prior engagement to visit Flamingo Land in North Yorkshire. And our sports reporter Chris Dawkes went along for the ride. Preparing to take to the skies at Flamingo Land in North Yorkshire. This was a relatively smooth ride compared to the one these players have been on the past few weeks. A run of six games without a win saw manager Neil Warnock leave the club last night. There's probably people all over the pitch, myself included, who've probably let him down at some point with a, with a goal that we've conceded or a chance that we've not put away and, um, and that's part and parcel of football but the book stops with the manager at the end of the day and, and that's the harsh reality of it. I'm just really disappointed that you know, such a long managerial career that it's had to end in, in that way with getting beat last night and it would have been nice for him to go out with a win and a positive outlook for him and say, well, I left on a high. But he didn't. Ross McCormack, who'd been left on the bench by Warnock, opened the scoring against Derby yesterday, but a soft foul in the box by Jason Pearce brought the equaliser. Connor Salmon's penalty hitting the post, but Paul Coots was on hand to convert the rebound. And with just two minutes remaining, Jake Buxton escaped the clutches of Luke Varney to head the winner. A result that leaves Leeds just five points above the championship relegation zone. After the game, Warnock seemed resigned to his fate when speaking to former Leeds player and manager Eddie Gray on LUTV. I think they should put somebody in temporary now to the end of the season. So you're um, definitely walk, you're going to weigh yourself, you think? Yeah. That's what that's what I would that's what I would recommend to him now. Put somebody yeah. in temporary to the end of the season and uh, and so then you... look to get the best the best manager they can really. Attention now turns to Warnock's replacement, and as ever, there are many names in the frame. Who do you like next? Have you thought about that? Yeah, O'Neill. Uh, yeah, O'Neill, I'll put you. I'd like David O'Leary back. Yeah, but that probably won't happen. We all say the same names that are out in the press, and you know, it's just it's just a general thing. Somebody comes available, and you start saying their name. It just happens on every job and everything that comes up. No, we just mention the same, but really the players. Um, we get, we get what we're given effectively. In the meantime, Neil Redfern has been put in temporary charge for a second time. A permanent successor for Warnock is something the Leeds United board need time to chew over. Chris Dawkes, ITV News, Malton.